Now let's start the special worship service on January the 1st, 2016, in Tokyo Antioch Church, the Lord's Cross Christian Center, Tokyo Ant Antioch Church. Let me pray. Dear gracious Father, we praise your name. Thank you for gathering us together here to this special worship service. Thank you for this opportunity to be able to worship you together. Help us to worship you by spirit and truth. I pray that we, you will pour upon each one of us your great blessings. Thank you for this special service. In the beginning, I pray this prayer in the name of Jesus. We now have a time of praise and worship. Now, if you can please stand up and sing praises to the Lord.
In in Japan and in all over the world, I will send you to a near place and I send you to a far place. When I speak to you, strengthen your prayers so that you'll be able to respond to me quickly, said the Lord. So that you'll be able to listen to God's voice and obey it correctly, you pray. When you listen to his voice and obey it, the work of God that will be beyond your abilities and your thoughts will be made manifest through each one of you. And I will establish you for that purpose of the Lord. Uh, through direct evangelism <coughs> and through the internet, the work of evangelism will expand. Each one of you is called to do this work. In all over the world, I will cause you to spread the gospel, and I will cause you to lead many people to me, said the Lord. Let's sing one more praise. Let's clap our hands to the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise your name with all our hearts. Thank you for this time of praise and worship. Thank you for the words of prophecy. I pray that you will continue to lead this service. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Please be seated. Yeah, let's have a time of individual prayers. Let us quiet our hearts before the Lord and pray to Him individually. Let's finish and sing one more praise to God.
Now let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We now have Pastor Paul Akimoto lead the Holy Communion. Let's have the Holy Communion. The Holy Communion is to proclaim the death of Jesus in a church. You are welcome to join this service. Join this ceremony. Uh, if you believe in the Lord Jesus as your Savior and you have been baptized, or you are wishing to be baptized in the near future, even though you are not a member of this church. If you are watching this service on the internet, and if you believe in the Lord Jesus as your Savior, and you have been baptized, or you are wishing to be baptized, please prepare bread and wine or grape juice for yourselves and join us. Heavenly Father, please bless this bread and wine and grape juice here. And bless the bread and wine and grape juice that those who are watching the service on the internet have prepared. Let's have a time of repentance, and if you have sins in your heart, please confess them to God in your heart. We pray these prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, this is my body. Let's take the body of Christ. Jesus said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Let's take the blood of Christ.
Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this blessing of the Holy Communion. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Yeah, let's have a time of offerings to give thanksgiving to the Lord. Let's offer unto Him as we sing, Seek ye first together. Now, let, let me pray to give thanks to God for these offerings. Our gracious Father, I praise your name. Thank you for your many blessings that you give us each day, and we have offered only a part of what you have given us. Pray that you multiply these three times, ten times, a hundred times to for the work of your kingdom. I also pray that you will bless the health of those who have offered and the economy of those who have offered and help us to offer you even more. In the name, we thank you for these offerings. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, let me read a scripture for today's message. Today's message will be from Psalm 103, verse 17. Uh, the second uh, line of the verse 17. <laughs> Psalm 103, The Lord's love is with those who fear Him, and His righteousness with their children's children. Excuse me. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear Him, and His righteousness with their children's children. Pastor Paul Akimoto will bring us a message after special singing and congregational praise and worship. Good morning. We are gifts. Let us sing, Where Does the Wind Go? Shugami 
Let's stand up. I'm 
始まったリバイバル始まったリバイバルあなたの素晴らしい技を褒めたたえますハレルヤハレルヤ Be careful and listen to my voice, said the Lord, and grasp my word firm, said the Lord. My word is strength and my word is grace. By my word you have victory and by my word you see my glory, said the Lord. In Tokyo Antioch Church,、uh, I have given you a relationship with a Russian Messianic Jewish pastor. This is very important because you have the main calling of evangelism and God's work for the Jewish people. And I will open it for you, said the Lord. For evangelism, I will open everything that I have prepared for you to work. Be careful in、um, obeying my, my leading, said the Lord.、Um, the Lord has shown you vividly how the Lord opened this main calling for you. So, as you walk by faith for this purpose, don't withdraw. Withdraw, just proceed, said the Lord. I know that you have a lack, but、uh, give it to me and just do what I speak to you. Then you'll see work of mine that is much beyond、uh, your understanding and your power and your ability, said the Lord. And in, the, in this 21st century, Uh, the culture of the world has been transformed into a culture of internet and of moving pictures. I will use moving pictures for evangelism. And I have planned for you to, to have ministry of movies, making films, and walk by faith for this purpose and never withdraw, said the Lord. Let's sing one more praise.
Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the words of prophecy. Thank you for the special singing. We are going to learn from your word. I pray that you, the living God, will speak to us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Good morning, everyone. To those who are watching this service on the internet, good morning. Hello. And good evening. Our church starts in November, but in this world, January or April is the first year of the first month of a year. So for, for us, the start of a year on a big scale is November, and another start in a small scale it's this is today, January. Last night, a team came back to Japan from Cambodia. A part of the team members from Fukuoka came back to Japan on this morning, and Sister Teremi also came back this morning. But in any way, the whole team are now back in Japan. Thank you very much for your prayers. Something strange happened. Uh, a certain famous music group, uh, and he is a main singer of this group, and news have been spread, have been spreading in some media news, saying that the singer has been supporting the Cornerstone Orphanage, and these medias, they <laughs> postponed the website <laughs> of the Cornerstone Orphanage. So there have been accesses to, to the website of the Cornerstone Orphanage 40 times more. And today, some church bands are going to have a street live in Harajuku for a charity purpose for the Cornerstone Orphanage. So we are expecting for many people to respond. During this outreach, we had a curry rice party, and we went to a theme park, and we also went to play bowling. And the, all the fees for these events have been paid for by uh, the team members who joined this team. And this Cambodian orphanage is an online church members of, of this Tokyo Antioch church. And they, ha they watch our worship services on the internet. And since they became a part of a church, they have been changing and they have been singing a lot of praises to the Lord. And they have been improving in singing. And five members of this Cornerstone Orphanage in Cambodia have been baptized. They had water baptism, baptism this week. Let's give thanks to God for that. And, and the children, they uh, sang special singing in the meetings. And some of you, I think you heard that on the internet. And they were very good at singing. And they also manifested the presence of God through the singing. So we are expecting for God to expand, expand his work among them. I I even think that some of the children will become missionaries in the future. So let's expect God for what he's going to do through these children. When we had a curry rice party, the children were very delighted. And I asked them how they liked the sukiyaki party that we had last summer. And some of the children, they were honest enough to tell me that they didn't like sukiyaki very much. Actually, it was the worst sukiyaki that I, ha I had ever had. But compared to sukiyaki, 
uh, when we had the curry rice party this week, because we used the Vermont house Vermont curry and, uh, and uh, the meat that we had in the curry rice uh, were, were tender. And, but as for sukiyaki party, I will do revenge uh, next time, and uh, we will make good, better sukiyaki for them. And we had a lot of grace. God gave us a lot of grace. Uh, we went to a theme park together, and they demanded that us foreigners should pay special price, high prices for foreigners. But uh, finally, they said that's okay. We we just ha we and we just paid the ordinary prices. And 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 no other um, people were there in the theme park. We were only us in the theme park. So the children were very delighted. And because we had some money left. Uh, we were able to buy them ice cream. And you know, when we paid admission fees to enter the theme park, we thought that we would have to pay for riding on, uh, on each at attraction, but all the attractions, they were free. So we had some money left. And we also went to Eon Mall, this, I this is a uh, shopping mall uh, from Japan, but uh, for children it was their first time to be there, so they were very, they were a little nervous going there, and it was their first time to uh, take an escalator for the first time. So they were a little nervous to take and take the escalator, and we went to play bowling in the shopping mall. It was their first time to play bowling, and they were really enthusiastic. Usually, uh, the one who one who uh, throws the ball uh, is the only one who stands. But everybody so never sits sit down. Everybody stands up watching. And one of the uh, one of the children, uh, they had twenty-eight scores. Uh, excuse me, uh, one team member. Uh, he had uh, twenty-eight scores, and even little children in the orphanage. From the orphanage, they also had more than 20 squirts. In various ways, the Lord has been expanding his work in the orphanage in Cambodia. And this afternoon, some church bands are going to have a street live in on Harajuku Street uh, for uh, appealing for the donations for them. Let's get into the Bible. Psalm 103, verse 17. Let me read once again. It says, The Lord's love is with those who fear Him from everlasting to everlasting. But there is some misunderstanding here. When I was a seminary student, who, and at that time I was an evangelical Christian, I was told that if you are a seminary student, you have to be more than a standard in every aspect of your faith. That's a condition for your being a seminary student. And that, that was being said publicly in public. So if we say if there are some levels of Christians, similar students should be in high rank. But I found out that this is a mistake. This is wrong, specifically. Why? 
Because Peter, he insisted that he would never betray Jesus. He insisted that he was not、uh, the same as other disciples. But、uh, Jesus told him, Peter flanked. He denied Jesus three times. You know, Um, Peter,、uh, he used to confess that Jesus was the Son of God, but he still betrayed Jesus. That was the worst. But in 50 days later, he was the main person for revival, and he became a leader of Christian churches. Example? King David, he committed adultery and he killed a person. You know, if you kill a person, you are stoned to death according to the law of Moses. But he was the most blessed person. He received a great blessing from God. So something is wrong. You know, King David. He couldn't pass the test. He made a great failure. And, Peter and so did Peter, but they were used by God on a large scale because of a principle of grace. So don't, misun don't be misunderstood about where you, where you start. We start from、um, being made conscious. That we are not worthy, we are sinners, and we are nothing. Let's start from here.、Uh, why, the reason why I'm telling you this is that I know that some of you are you being dis disappointed at yourself. You believe that you are the worst. That if you think you are the worst, what are the points? Have you disappointed? Have you been disappointed? But if you know that you are the worst, you have nothing to be discouraged. You may feel that、uh, I'm a sinner and I can't do anything. Some I, I know many of you, you are, dis you are disappointed at that. But、uh, that's natural.、Uh, I'm just telling you fl flatly that we are the worst from the beginning. The Lord taught me this. Since I was a seminar, since I was a college student, I was very, I was an enthusiastic Christian. I was involved in campus crusade. I was the main leader among the Christian students. I became, I was MC to for in a farewell party for the juniors who. Of Campus Crusade, who were going to graduate. And I was very enthusiastic doing evangelism. But after graduation from university,、uh, the Lord didn't leave me to、uh, be a full time worker of God. I was invited to be. A staff member of the campus crusade, but I became sick. And, uh, and, and I knew, I had thought that I was worthy to become a, a full, full time worker of God, but I learned that I was not worthy. And I give all things to God. I said, God, I'm not worthy,、ね、so I give all the things back to you. Then the next day, the Lord spoke to me,、uh, saying, I will make you a fisher of men. 
Well, if you know that you are the worst, or there's nothing that you've been disappointed about. Uh, recently, Hansen Tigers won the best ball. Games, they, are, they have been strong. But there used to be a weak team. But uh, those fans for the Tigers, they accepted them as they were. And even though they were very weak, and they cheered them up very uh, much. If you just stay thinking that you are the worst, you just go round and round in Yamanote life. If you know, if you think that you are the worst, if you are disappointed, uh, but that disappointment is wrong for you. It's wrong because it's natural for us to, for us that we are the worst from the beginning. And if we are the worst, we are entitled to receive God's blessing. So let's make sure what starting point we are, because unless we have a wrong starting point, we'll, we'll, we'll dis we will be disappointed at ourselves. If you think you, you are the worst, if you can't do anything, you, you, you finally uh, get a right understanding. If you think that you are not worthy enough to receive God's grace, uh, your understanding is right. You know, our big start, start year, start of the year is November, and the little start of this year is today, January. But so let's make sure that if we uh, know that we are the worst and we are not worthy, we can make a good start. So, grace of God. Let's walk in His grace. Uh, we are not ready, but God still blesses us. That's His grace. So let's walk and advance in God's blessings and grace. How do, how do you mean by proceeding in His grace? example, there is a country and we are going to conquer it. You know, we have to have a strong army and we make plans, we know their weaknesses and we will conquer them and we will occupy their whole land. But, but if we uh, have a thinking by the grace of God, we will receive victory from God, from the Lord. By the Lord, we receive His grace. Example, uh, so we will not make our army strong, but as is written in the Second Chronicles, like King Jehoshaphat, what did they do? They sang praises to the Lord. They trusted in the word of God. Of course, we have to do something practical, but so that we be able to experience deeper grace of God. Something, there is something that we have to do. We, we may, uh, we may cry that we are sinners and we are not worthy. And, uh, but unless we advance in His grace, we will just stay as we are. So there's a difference between you just stay as you are and you will advance in God's grace. You, let's think of Mrs. Kazama and Mrs. Matsuzaki who have been healed from a 
terminal cancers. They went to the hospital, they received medical treatments from doctors. Of course, when we get sick, we have to go to the hospital and we, we have to obey. Uh, we have to be obedient to doctors, but the main point for them was not hospital or doctor. They just they just relied on the grace of God and they prayed. We may be the worst. We may be. We may not be worthy, but we have to know that. We have to uh, practice receiving God's grace. It's good for you to recognize that you are sinners and you are not worthy. But uh, in addition, you have to develop, you have to move forward in God's grace. So what did they do? They received His words. They uh, confessed a hundred times a day. Apparently, they uh, took measures to receive God's grace. They moved forward in His grace. For example, if you fall sick, and if I fall sick, what would we do? We go to hospital, we see a doctor, and we, we do what the doctor tells us. But First of all, we let us strengthen prayers, and let's put God first. Let's let's make sure that we will put God first, and let's listen to His Him, and we will do whatever He tells us, because uh, so that we we'll receive His grace. You know, we are not worthy, but God still gives us blessings and grace. So what should we do? We have to take measures to receive His grace and blessings, and we have to move forward according to His grace and blessings. These are the things that are different from practical things, such as seeing a doctor and obeying what the what doctor tells us. But our point it's uh, obeying God. We, we have to put prayers and giving thanks to God. Uh, we will put those things in priority. For example, what should I do if doctor tells me to stop going on the outreach overseas? Please don't imitate me, but if, if I, I was told by the doctor, so I would listen to God, ask God, and he, if he said go, I will go, because I, I am to put God first, and I am, put, I am to put the grace of God first. There is difference between us uh, not walking in His grace and moving and moving forward in His grace. The Lord gives you the best. The Lord uh, wants to give you the best in your life, in your work, in your ministry. Then where does power and major blessings uh, do things the Lord prepare for us. We are not ready to receive all of these, but uh, the, we can take measures to receive all of these. Mrs. Matsuzaki and Mrs. Kazama, um, please be sure that what doctor tells you is important. You have to be obedient to doctor, which they did. But also, we, but Ms. Mrs. Matsuzaki and Mrs. Kazuma, they put measures to receive God's grace. He, they put it first. 
There is a um, mathematics base, you know, one plus one equals two. You have to admit that one plus one equals two. Uh, we are not worthy, we are the worst. Uh, that's natural, that's your, underst your understanding is right. This is one plus one equals two. And in addition to that, then wha how can we receive uh, God's grace and blessing? No. And what is the pro problem if you think that you can't receive God's blessing as others do? Uh, it's, it's, it's not like uh, trying to grasp God's blessing. We, we have to wait upon the Lord for Him to manifest His blessing and grace for us. And for that, we have to do something. Mrs. Matsuzaki and Mrs. Kazama, they pursue God's blessing. And you have to do this. The King Jehoshaphat, they clearly, they clearly um, did a certain measures, did certain measures to receive God's blessing. So let us take measure of to receive His blessing. Then how, what should we do? Let us give thanks to God in Cambodia, I said, I said to them, the children, uh, be persistent in giving thanks to God. And let us continue giving thanks to God even beyond the border where we think. Uh, can we give thanks to God for such a thing? Well, Christians are crazy about Jesus, crazy about Christ. Christians are considered to be serious and kind in Japan. They never think we are crazy, but uh, we can be crazy in the sense that we stand firm in the Word of God. So let, let us be crazy about giving thanks to God. And let's pray to Him. Prayer is a lot of blessing. Giving thanks and prayer, I'm glad that I have known these things. Well, uh, there is a lottery of uh, a billion yen, winning a billion yen. Somebody won it. But I think I have I have won much more than a lottery of winning uh, one billion yen. Some of you might think that you had not received anything from God, but because you had not you had not used some measures. The Lord had intended to give you a lot of blessings, but just because you had not uh, used those measures, you hadn't received them. And you had been like a non-Christian because you hadn't experienced the work of God. So unless you didn't take measure, uh, excuse me, because you took measure, because you didn't use those measures, you didn't receive. Peter said to Jesus um, um, to come and walk on water, and Jesus said, come, and Peter started to walk on the, on the flat surface of water, but when he had fears, uh, he started to sink, but what was good about him was that he stretched out his hand to Jesus. But, you know, of course, we can receive people's helps, 
say we are about to sink, and you might straight your hand to a doctor and your friends and your family members, but you haven't stretched out your hand to Jesus. That means you didn't uh, use measures to receive God's grace. So when you take a certain measure, uh, you receive blessing. The first John said that you have overcome the world. That doesn't say that you are going to overcome the world. You, it says you have overcome the world. In other words, you have overcome the world by His grace. Problems, sicknesses, difficulties, troubles. And the Bible said that we have overcome all of these by His grace. So let's put God first. And when, a, a, some, when pro a problem occurs, some of you does don't take, don't put God first. Um, maybe Satan works because of a sin. You don't pray. Uh, you don't pray. Well, if, if you have a problem, that's, your, that's His grace. The Bible said that there is a solution to your problem and you, you will. You, you have overcome. And the Bible said that he who, he who trusts in, his, in Him will never be put to shame. So let's, let's do what the Lord tells us. If you turn your eyes on the problem, and if you don't, if you don't put your eyes on God, that's no good. You you ha you can have grace of God. Regarding the grace of God, let's make sure of a starting point. Uh, we are nothing, we are unworthy. And still God blesses us and gives us grace. So we can rely on His grace. Let's pray. You have received God's word, but you let it go. Because some difficulties happen to you, you let it go. But uh, grasp the word of God, stand on it once again. You have you are afraid of the of where the Lord is leading. You need to grasp His word, and you have to walk by faith. Then, because that fear will never be realized. You think that your problem has not been solved, but it will be solved. Pray and give thanks to God and make those things the first priority in your life. There will be God's testing for you. Let's pray for healing. Let's repent individually. Let's pray for healing individually. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you touch each one of us. In the name of Jesus, I bind uh, the power of sickness. I command sicknesses to go. And I command be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. In the name of Jesus, I declare God's healing. You had, you had a fire uh, in your uh, eyes, you are healed, uh, cataracts, you have cataracts, you are healed, you have high blood pressure and you are healed. 
I declare the Lord's healing to each one of us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Please, be st please stand up. May the grace of our Lord Jesus and the love of the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all forever and ever. Amen. Thank you.